As we mentioned before, the world celebrated Valentine's Day last week, and it's a great opportunity for us to dive deeper into the connection between faith and personal relations, but not just any faith, because today we'll discuss this aspect from the Kabbalistic perspective. Kabbalah is the ancient Jewish tradition of mystical interpretation of the Bible. Now, to help us understand it, we're joined in the studio by Avner Madar from the Kabbalah Center in Tel Aviv. Thank you so much for coming here today. Hello, Tal. Good evening, and thank you for having me. Avner, so how can Kabbalah help us understand a relation, a relationship between two people? What's the Kabbalah approach to relationships? The first thing is that Kabbalah is uh, teaching us that uh, relationship is not a purpose. Many people are in a relationship because they want to be loved, they want to share love, they want to have a family. But family and relationship is just a vehicle to achieve something much deeper. And when we don't really understand the, the big picture of relationship, many of us can really fall and, and go through pain and suffering and confusion because that we don't really understand the why. Why do we choose to be on a relationship? You mean that, you know, the Kabbalistic approach, basically, if I'm understanding you correctly, that a relationship comes to serve the individual? Yes, a relationship comes to serve the correction, the transformation of the soul. Each soul, each one of us came to, to the world to achieve a certain transformation. Let's say if I have a, a lot of ego and I have a lot of anger issues, so I will attract a woman that will help me, hopefully, can balance you, to maybe. balance me to, and to really to reflect my correction, my spiritual correction. So Kabbalah is teaching us that a relationship is really serving the purpose of the soul. Like, like you know, on, on a daily basis, when things are, are, are just, you know, are not going my way and I'm getting angry and upset, this is the time to, to really to zoom out and to understand that relationship is not just about you and I and about kissing and hugging and, and you know, soulmate connection. It is also about going through a spiritual transformation uh, process. So it's something bigger that we might think of. M much um, bigger and, and especially from the point of view of a woman because according to Kabbalah, women are connected to a much higher level of, of wisdom spiritual wisdom, not, not, the, not the physical aspect. So women came basically have emotional to, intelligence. Absolutely. And, and women came in general to support men, really to, to help men to be better, to improve. And I when, like this way of thought. Exactly, yeah. So, so <laughs> when, when, according to Kabbalah, when a man comes home, let's say a businessman uh, just had a great day at work, and his wife is getting upset at him about just nonsense, instead of getting upset and saying, look, I came from a great day and now you're p putting me down, the man should really take a step back and say, wow, my wife is a reflection of my ego. My wife is really reflecting that I need to be aware that even though I went through a, a, a great day, still I need to remember what is the real purpose. That's of my amazing. Life. I mean, it seems that the Kabbalah actually give, can give certain tools to couples maybe to cope with, you know, in modern times nowadays, especially we are here in Tel Aviv, there's so many temptations all the time. We're keep, we keep hearing about the uh, divorce rates that keep, you know, uh, that are increased. So the Kabbalah actually helps preserving the relationship with Definitely. the tools that it provides us. Number one is when I understand the real essence, the spiritual essence of relationship, and I understand that I need to learn to restrict my desire to receive oneself alone. So let's say in a relationship between husband and, and wife, there is a Kabbalistic tool that, uh, that uh, help us to maintain a, you know, a desire that, the, that men and women will, all have, will always have a desire towards each other instead of really feeling that, eh, you know, I got used to you, and I see you every day, and you know, I, I'm not attracted to you anymore. Let's let's look outside. You know, maybe there is something better. So, the immediate gratification, sometimes you know, it is giving us you know like a, a rush of sugar. But for the long term, 
of course it it's not a, really keeps us together yeah it, it's not it's not it's not the right thing for the soul mm -hmm. so either the person is going through pain and really learning the lesson or the person is really is taking some some um, you know some actions to to create circuit circuitry of energy and really to understand that you can be attracted to your wife forever, or you can be attracted to your boyfriend forever. That's amazing. There are many, many tools to create that attraction and desire. The thing is that we want just to get, you know, the immediate gratification, and we're not willing really to, to say, stop, I don't want the immediate gratification, I want something much bigger. Of Nermadar, this was very interesting and highly recommended to couples, so please visit the Kabbalah Center here in Tel Aviv. And all right, we have uh, one more break for you today, and we'll be back in just a short while with the story of one special community here in Israel. They call themselves the New Pioneer Movement. In one minute, you'll, we'll tell you exactly what it is.